What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Five Nights at Freddy's security breach video. In this one I'm going to be showing you what happens when we approach Vanny's hideout. In case you don't know, Vanny's hideout is located at the top of the Fazer Blast Arena. And this dialogue that we're about to experience could be easily passed up your first time playing through. So hopefully you all find this interesting. So yeah, let's go ahead and return our blaster item because I just got done with the laser tag in here. Well done, Superstar. You won the Fazer Blaster. Now, go collect your prize from the Superstar Lounge. Now, let's head on up to the Superstar Lounge, as you heard Freddy, to collect our prize. Which our prize is a Fazer Blaster, which is what we are using in the arena. It's something you can use to temporarily disable targets around. Also, inside this place that we get the Fazer Blaster at, there's a vent that we could choose to crawl through in the Superstar Lounge. Now keep in mind, this isn't something you technically have to do. This is something that you could pass up as soon as you pick up the Fazer Blaster and then exit out of the lounge. But yeah, check this out. There's some hidden dialogue that would trigger when you do go to crawl through this. Where does this vent go? And if we continue to follow this, it'll lead out to a overlook of the Fazer Blast Arena. There's also a collectible up here that you can get too. But yeah, over here next to this collectible, there's a vent that we can crawl through again, and this will lead up to Vanny's hideout. And check out this hidden dialogue that'll prompt once we approach her hideout. Freddy, that rabbit lady's in a secret room above Fazer Blast. It looks like a hideout. I think her name is... Vanny? Vanny. Hmm. It is very similar to Vanessa. And also, Bunny. That cannot be a coincidence. So yeah, we hear Freddy and Gregory have a conversation. And we get a major clue on Vanessa being Vanny. I think it's pretty awesome how there's this hidden dialogue that we can trigger if we decide to come up here to her hideout. I think that's cool how the developers added hidden dialogue around in the game that we can trigger like this that kind of helps tell the story a bit more. And by the way, this walkway up here just leads to a dead end, so yeah, in case you're wondering about that. Also, one more thing that I wanted to show you since I'm here at Fazer Blast and making a video over something in this area, you can also find a collectible down here next to this flag that you can capture during the Fazer Blast game. And yeah, we can actually find a hidden room back here with the collectible inside. So yeah, be sure to try to pick this up sometime. You can pick it up after you're done with the game so you don't have to worry about actually defending or anything. But yeah. I guess I'll start wrapping up this video now. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and you learned something new out of this. I'm out of here though, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching and listening, and the support here lately on my Five Nights at Freddy's videos have been awesome. Seriously, thank you all so much for the support on all the videos here lately. But yeah, just wanted to say that. I'm out of here though. Until next time, peace.